You know, looking into the mirror, all of us see too many flaws and remember too many wounds of the past and mistakes to love ourselves. Loving yourself is more important than you ever realized. It is one of the most important decisions of your life. The one that will affect every other decision you make in some way or the other is the commitment to love and accept yourself wholeheartedly. It directly affects the quality of your relationships, your work, your free time, your future and overall your life. If you don't love yourself, you will have a hard time finding or experiencing love from others. Feeling worthy and building confidence in yourself requires you to see yourself with fresh eyes of self-awareness and love. Acceptance and love must come from within. And always always remember Loving yourself is not a one-time event to get it done and over with, but rather it is an ongoing and constant work in progress. So therefore, I thought of putting together a few simple actions that you can start out today in order to actually love yourself more, inshallah ta'ala. Action item number one. Start off by accepting where you are right now in life. It's part of your destiny and there's no changing that. Part of the real beauty of life is that it's so unpredictable. Nothing of this life is permanent. Everything changes. And of course, a lot of things can happen that will transform who you are and have a big impact on uh, your life. But the thing is, we need to cultivate the ability to truly accept whatever comes our way and embrace it. In life, we all come across a number of crossroads and we make a ton of choices. So life is about choices and acceptance. We need to accept our own choices and the choices of others and live with them. See, you are on your way on this journey, the journey of life, and we will arrive at the designated time more fulfilled than we ever imagined. But the catch is to accept where you are in your journey and choose to enjoy where you are until you get to where you want to be. Stop resisting, complaining, whining, and just accept having a sense of peace that the challenges and trials that you are facing shall pass. You will discover that you are happier and more peaceful when you accept what happens around you instead of constantly fighting to change those things. Action item number two, fall in love with yourself and forgive yourself. Think about what makes you, you, what makes you tick. Just like a beautiful flower that needs watering to grow, learn to nurture yourself in every way. Love yourself for all the good that you see and accept your flaws and the fact that you are not perfect. We aren't perfect. This does not in any way mean that you do not learn to change from your shortcomings. On the other hand, you're being gentle and kind to yourself despite all of your flaws. And if you have made mistakes in the past that have caused you to feel less worthy perhaps, then you need to forgive yourself. As humans, we all make mistakes. So there's really no need to beat yourself up over these mistakes. The next action item on the list is to let go of worry and anxiety. Anxiety is a silent destroyer of lives, a demolishing internal wrecking ball that leaves a trail of devastating and negative effects. Worry does not help in any way. It cannot on its own make things happen or change for that matter. Rather, intelligent actions can. So instead of worrying, spend the valuable time that you have thinking about what you can do to better the situation. If the situation is beyond your control, turn to your maker in earnest supplication and surrender the outcome unto him. For he, the Almighty, has your best interests and he is the best disposer of your affairs. And this is the beautiful concept of Tawakkul where you place your trust in the Almighty for he knows best. The final action item that I would like to share with you all in this video is to grow in your spirituality and to express gratitude. We really need to rewire our minds with positive affirmations. Tell yourself, I love and accept myself completely and unconditionally. Even if you have to read these affirmations out aloud several times a day, do so. Express gratitude for the person that you are. For instance, you should cultivate an appreciation for your strengths, gifts, abilities and talents. And we need to also feel this sense of gratitude due to the fact that we are alive and well and that we are fully capable of making a difference in our lives. Think about it. If you were to just look around you, you'll come to an easy conclusion that you are enjoying so many boons and blessings in your life. So much to the extent that if you were to go and list them down, you could keep going on and on and on. An endless list because there are so many blessings around us. The minute we inculcate this positive vibe 
and when we start rendering gratitude this concept in the arabic language is known as shukr our maker he states in the noble quran la in shakartum la azidannakum if you are thankful i will give you many fold i will multiply the goodness upon you subhanallah glory be unto him so the minute you start becoming thankful and you start rendering gratitude unto allah the people around you you start attracting positivity in all forms and this is exactly what we want in our lives Thank mm-hmm. you.